Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Uzu from CZT Tomami Kamiya. And I hope I have pronounced all of that at least close. Okay. So, <laughs> this is a neat tangle. It was inspired by whirlpools uh, in Japan. Take a look at the, uh, go to the description section and take a look at the for more inspiration link. And there you can read more about that. All right, so such, it's really, it's really a pretty pattern. And so many options for decorating. I'm going to do this bigger than I think. So we start off with a nice orb. And then she has this put some dots, kind of uh, thinking Pentagon. Oh, actually, you know, gosh, a couple days ago, we were doing a Pentagon, right? Um, with Star Sky. And these can just be little dots. They're kind of placeholders. And so if you place five of them around, and of course, nothing has to be exact. And what they are is... Uh, well, like I said, placeholders. So what we're going to do, and on um, Tobami's step out, uh, she has a lot more arrows. I did put arrows for direction on mine, and this, it kind of does go with the flow. However, if you, you know, because I also think if you're left-handed, um, me being right-handed, you know, it's like, hmm, I don't know. Do you need to do it differently? I don't know. You do what works for you. But so what we're going to do is, you know, pick one, start, and we're going to go clockwise. I think on a video recently, I, I think I said clockwise and it was counterclockwise or vice versa. I don't remember. It was just really funny. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to go fix it. <laughs> All right. So starting on this dot, let me get this so you can see. We're going to come up. Is this kind of like a bit of a spiral? Oh, that's really tall. Okay. Like this. A really wide print top, maybe you could think of. And then starting right here. And th these will butt up against each other. But you're just going to continue to go around. And however they end up is fine, of course. And what, what I think is neat is it's kind of like pre-filling in the little gap that's created anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, so don't worry about making it too big. But this, it's nice because then you have something to aim for with, you know, your curve, whoops, and then going into a spiral like that. Okay. Next, same thing. We're just going to go the opposite direction and alternate. So I'm going to start about here, come up and around like that. Now on um, Tomami's step out, she did a curve line and I decided to just continue it around because we've already done this stroke going one direction and I just thought well I want to keep the flow going instead of doing a curve line and then adding afterwards it just didn't I, I was feeling it didn't seem natural but you know you play with it and see what you think and then from here just on this second round that we did we're going to take from this tip, come out, and go down into, into that crevice. Like that. Looks like well, that one was interesting. Um, and this is where, you know, do take a look at that because that way you can examine it. That's the best that I... I can figure in nice nicely she has words on hers you know connect to a v shape is what she says so i i say crevice you know so you want to you know here's the v so it's just like just put it right down in there and then you can decorate it and let me just look here mostly she has yeah just you know straight lines and let's do them let's do them this way i did them um Oh, that would be vertical if I'm looking at it this way. Let's do them the other way just for kicks. 
it doesn't matter. I mean, whatever, whatever you end up doing is going to be great. And I'm, I'm going to dare say you could probably just fill it in solid if you wanted to. And, oops, Ooh, there we go. And just what a neat look. And, and the other reason for taking a look at the, at uh, her step out is to take a look, and this takes you to Tangle Patterns, is looking at all of the gorgeous work that she did, the samples. And that can give you some ideas on how else you could decorate this um, and just have fun. All right, now for some shading, I am going to, I'm, I'm picturing some fancy fescues coming out of this, but I'm going to leave it as it is. And I'm just going to put a little C shape of graphite here in the center. And then let's put some graphite around the perimeter of this orb and spread that out just a little bit. I mean, these are kind of tight. And hindsight, I'm like, oh, I could have made those even bigger, but that's for the next one. All right. And see how just bringing it out a little bit. It just it it just pops that right off the right on the top of that and then here just because I'm picturing layers I'm just gonna come down into that V with some graphite oh and I just had another idea we'll see after this is done all right and same thing not bringing it out too far but it just adds that little something. There we go. Like that. Yeah, I still need something. So that's something that I'm going to do. Is I'm going to aura it. Because that's always nice. And I did see on some of hers, you could continue. You could do you could do another, another round of these. Go in the other direction if you wanted. Or just a C shape going around. Up to you. It would be really good if I would keep the same distance. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, I like that. You know, and even if you did a, another round, you could still do an aura around it. There's just something about that aura that just finishes it off so neat. And then I'm, I'm going to add another. Oh, wait, I'm going to I'm going to add an aura of graphite. I was going to go right up next to it and then I quickly changed my mind. I don't know why I was doing this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to. Some of the things that we do. <laughs> some of the, no, let me take that back. Some of the things that I do. It's just funny. It was as if I was thinking Tortillon action like that, but with the pencil. <laughs> uh, that is neat. That is super neat. How fun. All right. Well, if you have enjoyed this, please click on the like button. And if you liked it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. Um, in that description section, I, I mentioned um, uh, Tomami's step out. I always do my own version. Uh, you'll find that there as well. And then below those is my link tree. And there you'll find all of the, all of the links that I used to have separately. It's such a nice program. 
Um, so you will find my website where you can follow my blog. Um, that I share a daily tangle and then I share recaps of the classes that I do. Uh, that's all I do at the moment. Um, also, there you can um, follow my Facebook page. So if you're interested in classes, um, I, I do post them there as well as other fun stuff. Uh, and if you are on Facebook, we have a uh, private Tangle Addicts community group and love to have you join us. It is, um, oh, there are four questions that you must answer in order to gain entry, just to let you know. But we have a lot of fun. It's a really super supportive, super fun group of people. It's just absolutely amazing. Uh, let's see what else is on there that I want to highlight. That's the that's the main thing. I do have some other places if you are interested in classes that um, where I post them. And there's just some other fun stuff. So um, check that out. And I think that's it. So with that, thank you so much for watching. And I wish you happy tangling.